Greetings to all truth searchers. It's nice to see everyone here once more. Here's your daily fix of royal news and commentary. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into the confusing world of Prince Harry and Meghan today. Before we get into all the specifics, folks, make sure you press the crucial bell symbol and subscribe to the channel. Check out Marco's most recent exploits, then get ready for something controversial, startling, and plain astonishing. I promise that what's to come next will be well worth the wait. The ideal venue for our two to create a big impression was the grand event in San Diego, where they opened a brand new training center called West Coast Warrior Fitness. Here's where video gets interesting, when they approach the building, Megan, dressed in a sharply fitted suit, waves to the small group of people outside while wearing fake grins. Whenever possible, Megan makes motions towards the audience to ask whether they are in queue, much like the puppet master. She requested that her young performer accompany her right away so that a film of an unpleasant situation might be captured. Unexpectedly, Harry struck up a discussion with someone who wasn't Megan because nobody else at the party seemed to be interested in talking to her. What does Megan do then? She draws Harry forward, like a kid tugging on an impatient father. She seems so eager to present herself to the public. Then there's the ribbon cutting ceremony, when Meghan yanks Harry forward once again because she can't bear a second without Harry at her side. She is handling things as like it is her event, since heaven forbid he talk to anybody else. According to reports, Meghan's elegant maneuver infuriated Tony Dynasty, a former Navy SEAL who was standing in line. The drama doesn't end there, rather, it gets better, when Meghan stands in front of everyone. It seems that Meghan's presence has left Harry looking defeated. Not to mention, Harry occasionally appears subdued, even frowning. But here's the real kicker, he's frequently seen rubbing his hands together, seemingly hiding behind Meghan. Is this the same Harry you saw, assertive? She always walks ahead of Harry, showcasing herself as the star, refusing to stand in line, treating it as if it's her solo appearance. Meghan was forced to share the stage with retired Navy Vice Admiral Shoeo Pybird during his address because she wouldn't wait in queue. It's evident that Meghan's need for attention is getting out of control. Even at events where they should be standing together, Meghan is determined to take center stage and makes it appear as though she is incapable of holding herself together. Therefore, my friends, we are witnessing a bizarre episode, and I can't help but wonder, is Meghan really the mastermind behind the royal family now, or is Harry more of a puppet? Before I sign off, please share your thoughts in the comments section. See you next time for more royal news and analysis. Until then, gentlemen, bye.